Yeah, I mean, I feel like the name of the podcast is Separation Anxiety, and we're going to be talking about a range of things. I feel like life, love, sex, our personal dynamic, uh, and I think it's, you know, it's twofold. One, it gives us a platform to kind of clear the air about a lot of misconceptions about our relationship and our background. But then also, I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, we just want to give a lot of, you know, advice and tips and our perspective to couples that maybe are experiencing the same thing or, you know, it's that's kind of our, our, our goal. I feel like there was so much information that was out there about us that was inaccurate. And so this would give us a platform. We should we could basically set the record straight, you know, tell people who we are, what we're about and just give advice. Yeah, we just started. We just shot our second episode. Yeah, and our today. second episode was about age gap, like our age gap. I don't know, I'm sure we're going to have guests at some point. I think the first few episodes, the first five episodes are basically just about us and our journey and you know, just letting people know our thoughts on all the misconception about us and just, you know. Yeah, I think eventually as the season develops, you know, we'll we'll definitely have some guests on and depending on the topic of the discussion, you know, the guest types might vary. Uh, I think we're doing great. You know, I think, you know, early on, uh, we were a little more cautious and just trying to tiptoe because we didn't know what the reception would be. And honestly, it was happening so fast and, you know, maybe even faster than we thought. You know, we were really just friends early on and, uh, it kind of snowballed into this, you know, committed relationship. And I think, you know, my favorite thing about Larsa is just how young of a soul she is. She really, like, has such a motor and is so upbeat and caring and loving and funny and beautiful and all the above. And so, you know, there's there's so many things that I love about her. I can't really just pick one, but I think, uh, you know, I'm, I, I, I love know. her so much. I feel the same about you. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, we're literally like twins. We like the same things. I feel like I've never met anyone as fun, smart, cute, yeah. creative as you are. So I just feel like we, we just make each other better. And I feel like for us, that's like, you know, we're just in a good place. Yeah, we compliment each other. I don't know. I feel like I don't really feel the difference. Do you? No, I don't. I don't. I feel like you're a young soul. I'm an old soul traditionally. And so... I just feel like we meet somewhere in the middle, you know, age is just a number, but I think, you know, maturity and life experience really, uh, you know, uh, dictate the relationship. I totally agree. And I feel like we have, like everything we do, we, we have so much in common. Yeah. We like the same things. We like to go to the same places. I feel like for us, it's just like very natural to be with each other. I don't really see like, you know, the age part of it. We met at a party around like four years ago. Um, in LA and I just felt like you know there was a lot of like just communication and we were talking and you know we were friends first and so over the th past three four years it really just helped us build a solid foundation of being friends and then I think as we started to spend more time together that kind of snowballed into wow I think I, I really love her so you know we ended up taking those next steps. Um, I think it's good I think we're just focusing on ourselves I think um, Marcus you know, it was really close with my kids. I feel like we spent Thanksgiving in Chicago with our families and yeah. basically had a great time. Yeah. I, I obviously, I know Marcus is dad, but I haven't spent time with him since we've been together. We're, we're basically based in Miami and LA. So basically yeah. it's, you know. Yeah, I think, you know, the beauty of it is that Larsa's kids are a little older. Um, you know, and I feel like when you're dating someone with kids and they're younger, then maybe you need to be a little more involved or, um, you know, put your opinion in the relationship a little more. And for me, I'm more of a fly on the wall. Uh, they're great kids. Uh, Larsa, does, she's like best friends with them. So they talk every day. And so I just feel like, you know, her relationship with her kids really inspire me that, you know, one day when I do have children, uh, I want to be a parent like she is. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming like if you're with someone for a period of time, maybe you do get married. I think yeah. so. I think, I think so. it's, you know, it's definitely on the table. I feel like it's early, you know, in our relationship, but we've actually talked, we're going to talk about this on the podcast. I feel like, you know, we both have different cultural upbringings where I feel like, you know, your upbringing, you know, traditionally you get married at a younger age, yeah. you start a family at a younger age. And for me, you know, from my perspective, I feel like I was always so focused on one, playing basketball as a kid, and then two, starting my business, um, that I treat Trophy Room as my baby. And so I've just never really had that mindset. Um, but now that I'm, you know, 32 and starting to become more of an adult uh, and on my two feet, I'm, I'm starting to entertain the idea of marriage and kids. And so eventually we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll have that conversation. Um, for me, I don't really have a response. I, you know, let people that are misinformed be in mis be misinformed. You know, I feel like 
um, you know, people see our last names and, you know, immediately want to have some sort of reaction or opinion. Yeah. Um, but I feel like as people get to know us and understand our situations more, uh, you know, they're way more happy for us and just want to see us, you know, live in our truths and, and be happy. I think people just want to see you happy. And there's a few people that are just miserable in their lives and they just want to have some negative input on things. But I think overall, I feel like people that know us, love us, want us to be happy. Yeah. I feel like I've never really asked him for, you know, his opinion. He's never asked me for, you know, my opinion. I feel like when you move on respectfully, like you just move forward, you know, I don't, I think as long as it has nothing to do with the kids, the conversations that we have basically are about our kids. Yes. Definitely. So I there. definitely make an appearance on a few episodes for sure. This season is just amazing. Cause I feel like all the women, we basically have gelled together. Well, yeah. it's been a couple of years. We're all in a good place. We get along. We're actually getting ready to go on our, um, our uh, cast trip. So I'm really excited. I feel like it's been super fun this season. I feel like for me, I've dated older. I've dated younger. I don't feel like age really determines your level of maturity. I just feel like it's based on who the person is and their level of like, I don't know, experiences. I've got, so it's actually my mom's birthday today. So I just want to give my mom a happy birthday shout out. She turned 21. So, you know, happy <laughs> birthday. And yeah, I actually just saw her this past weekend in New York. We, we went to Carbone as a family with my, my brother and sister. And so uh, we had a great birthday dinner there.